So talking with your kids in the wake of a threat uh, or an act of violence in a school can be a challenge. Our Eileen LaPalmer spoke with a child psychiatrist who says anxiety is way up among our children. It's been quite a week for students across the island. A threat made against West Babylon High School and a scare in West Islip because of some social media images. And experts say this is all coming at a time when anxiety is already increasing. It's crazy how something like this can make so many people just go zero to 100. Tom Alini is a senior at West Islip High School. Today, he and his classmates learned about some potentially threatening images posted on social media, as well as a threat made at the nearby West Babylon High School. Obviously, I don't know everything. I only know what I saw or what I heard. And right after they told me that, I was like, oh, this could be, this could be a lot bigger than, than what what I thought it was. Some parents in West Islip came early to get their children, while others we spoke to said it was being blown okay. way out of proportion. Experts say you should always have open conversations with your children. Ask them first what they've heard. It can really be unnerving, and I think people are really struggling because this is such a challenging time. Dr. Victor Fornari, a child and adolescent psychiatrist at Northwell Health, says it's important to remember that. Being anxious right now is normal. More than 50% of the general population, including our youth, are currently experiencing significant symptoms of anxiety. The schools have to collaborate and cooperate as they are with law enforcement and the community, including the students and their families, in a way that they've never done before. And experts say it's important to be honest with your children and acknowledge that bad things do happen, but also reassure them that there's safeguards in place and people working to keep them safe, including teachers, you, and the police. We are here in West Babylon. Eileen LaPalmer, News 12, Long Island.